We have enough concertina wire to cover up to 22 miles already deployed, already to the border. We have additional concertina wire that we can string with over 150 miles available. Along with the troops, the government has sent miles of razor wire to the border. Channel 5's Valerie Gonzalez shows us what this wire looks like and what it can do. From residential to law enforcement property, when protecting perimeters, many often choose between these two popular choices, either barbed wire or concertina wire. Look closely. You can spot concertina wire just about anywhere, even around our station. It's vastly different from barbed wire. Uh, climb over it. You can uh, sometimes crawl under it if you're small enough. Um, if it catches your clothes, it's going to rip it open. Commander Robert Caples, who served in the Marines, says those knots and barbed wire can poke and prod. Concertina is designed to do more damage. What you're talking about is concertina wire, uh, also known as razor wire. Uh, and those edges look more like this. Miles of concertina wire is at the ready along the southern border. Over 150 miles could be used by the federal government trying to deter illegal immigration as a caravan in Mexico makes its way north. They could be using military grade, which has more teeth tightly packed onto larger coils. This is commercial grade wire used mainly by civilians. Even though the teeth are set wider apart than military grade, it's still enough to cause severe injury like it did for one man who jumped this fence from Haida office. Commander Caples recalls helping with this case. Uh, it was not our case and I did not witness it happen, but I do know that one of the witnesses um, that gave us the um, that was trying to give us the current location of the subject told us that the guy was cut open pretty bad and he was bleeding profusely. Um, and that was just from him jumping over the fence. CBP will determine where that wire will be placed, whether on the ground or on barricades. Commander Caples considers the decision to use this sharp wiring from both sides. I don't know, I'm kind of conflicted because um, yes, this can uh, really hurt somebody. And I think maybe they should warn people that the wire is there. But as far as this doing the job, this can do the job. Wildlife could also be exposed to the wire depending on where and how it's placed, a decision that's still not being made public by the government. Now, the reason for the wire's name is because it easily expands as a concertina that's like an accordion. It can also be layered to the height of an adult or even surpassing that. In the studio, Valerie Gonzalez, Channel 5 News at 6.